In this video, we're going to look at how we can edit the case page layout in the Lightning Console, which is similar to the Agent Panel in Desk. Let's go ahead and open up a case to see what that looks like by default. On the left hand side, we have the case details component, contact and account components, and the cases for any parent contacts. In the center, we can see our case path and our case feed for all interactions on a case. And over on the right, we have our knowledge component and our related list quick links component. To add components to this case layout, I'm going to go to the large gear icon and click edit page. On the left hand side, you can see a list of the lightning components you can add to your case layout. I'm going to search for our rich text component and then drag it into place. I'm going to use this rich text component to prompt my agents to contact their manager should a case go into a high priority. Let's make that a little bigger and make it red. And now let's add our priority filter. Choose priority. We're going to make that equals to high and then click done. Then click save and then click activation then click Close. Now if we go back to our case, we can see that our component hasn't yet shown up on our case view. This is because this case is in a priority of low, so let's go ahead and change that to High. Now our agent has been prompted to contact their manager with our rich text component. Using the Lightning App Builder, you can add various components to your Lightning Console case layout to help with agent productivity and customer satisfaction.